Hey there, everybody. Okay, hey. hey, everybody. Welcome back to Homesteading Off the Grid. My beautiful bride, Dearly, and I are getting ready to do the nasty chore of cleaning out our hen house. It stinks in there really bad. That's why we have on face masks. But it's got to be done. It is a cold, rainy direct. It is a cold, rainy day, and we got to do it. Are you ready to clean the dirty, nasty chicken house? We hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> we look funny. <laughs> I don't look funny. You look funny. Wow. Guys, it's really nasty in there, and it stinks really bad. I hope you can appreciate the fact that I've taken my mask off so you can understand what I'm saying. But we gotta lure these girls out of here. Look, girls, here's some leftovers. You want some mostly spoiled strawberries and some eggshells and rice? Come on. Here, hun. Take this and see if we can lure them over there. It's uh, kind of nasty in there. Look, Roger. Come here. Listen to the sound of the homesteader luring her chickens to food. Come on, guys. Roger. Listen to her using words when the sounds do not seem to be effective. Listen to her use a combination of both when neither seem to be effective. Listen to her use numbers and count when nothing seems to be effective. Hey guys, I just wonder what I'm doing. They're staring at me saying, Crazy Lake, what in the you know where are you doing? Alas, it appears as if the strange near hypnotic calls of the female homesteader are beginning to work. Hun, just throw it over there in the garden. When they see you throwing it, they'll go. Ah, I think I figured it out. They associate me with food. Watch this. Ah, step over the fence. Duh. Watch as the guy who usually feeds the chicken finally figures out they associate him with food. Come on, guys. Get on over here and eat. Come on. Okay, move back, hon. You're too close to the portal opening. They're nervous. There we go. Come on, Roger. Lead them girls over there, huh? Lead them girls over there, Roger. Buck, 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 buck. He's like, look, look at all this food I'm giving you. Yeah, we gave it to you guys. You're taking the glory. Well, I have this calm, gentle, soothing way of getting the stragglers out of the hen house, which is to kind of like take 40 minutes to lure them out with their favorite food. Dearly has this not so subtle way of luring him out by going in there and starting to clean when the cleaning needs to get done and running them out. So they're all gone. There's a couple eggs, huh? You get them all run out of there, honey? Yep. All right, two eggs. Makes all this nasty, stinky, smelly stuff worth it. I'm not the creek, uh, what honey the creek, please. what do you want the, creek. the rake yeah the rake okay the rake not the one the hard one mm, the hard one okay what you call this again metal oh yeah metal <laughs> <laughs> the metal rake so hun what's it look like in there it feels like you're a real farmer it feels like you're a real farmer yeah well you look like a real farmer yeah too bad we're trying to be homesteaders, huh? <laughs> I'm always trying to point this difference out to Deerly. I don't know. It's the same thing, really. In my mind, though, farmers grow commercially to feed the masses. Homesteaders just kind of take try to take care of themselves. Well, you're doing a good job, honey. No. Now, hun, make sure not to do it all. Leave some nasty stuff in there for me to clean, too. <laughs> No, seriously, leave me the worst part of it, huh? 
you always do the worst part. I know, just not when we just record, wait huh? Just until I get tired. Just wait till you get tired? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's going to happen? <laughs> like on our hike yesterday when we hiked for two hours? Oh, yeah. And the 44-year-old husband kept asking the 30-year-old wife if she was tired yet as he was panting and trying to catch his breath and trying not to have a heart attack. And the 30-year-old wife laughed and giggled and tried her best to look exhausted and pathetic and said, yes, I'm really tired, honey. We better stop. Okay. It's full. So. Oh, hold on. My head's stuck on a wire. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. Can we get this out here? Yep. Now, here's the problem the husband creates building the door too close to the... To the to the what is this that's a detached garage okay and the problem of course it takes the wife to solve the problem and she determines well we can't do this as quick and easy as we could have if you'd have built the door on the other side but i've got this small basin that i use for all kinds of stuff outdoors gathering twigs leaves walnuts let's use this and so the wife solved the problem yet again that the husband created honey i'll drag that somewhere where would you like me I, to dra drag it. you're going to drag it yeah Okay, honey, this video, which was originally going to be titled Husband and Wife Clean Out Nasty Chicken Pen, is quickly becoming a, a video which should pro Will you shut me up so you don't have to hear me talk? It should pro- Where are you going? Where are you going to put that? Where we should put this? I don't know, but wait a minute. This thing should be titled Beautiful Bride Cleans Out Nasty Chicken Hen While Husband Watches Standing By <laughs> Idly With a Cell Phone Recording. Okay, what well, stinks, right? Yeah. So let's not put it in this garden close by oh. because we have our living, breathing, active fertilizing machines oh, yeah. in there already. Yep. Let's take this stuff and use it to fertilize the other garden, which is further away from the house so we won't have to smell it anyway. Yep. That's a good Hello, Houdina. Yeah. Houdina follows me a lot. I've actually been thinking about making some particular videos about Houdina. She seems to have adopted me. Ugh, stinks in here. So anyway... Well, honey, it looks like you got it all. There's nothing left for me to clean. What's up, Houdina? I started calling her Houdina because on the first day we had them, we had them shut up in the next chicken place over so we could finish building this chicken house. We had them shut up over there for maybe four days. Well, she would escape. I would be over here working on the chicken house and I'd turn around and she was there like staring up at me and I don't know how she kept getting out so I looked up once because I just let, decided to let her run around here with me I looked over and she was getting ready to go into the wood line and cross over into the neighbor's property so I went up got her shoot her over into this other garden up here where you see the chickens now can go over and forage because I built that tunnel so I shut her up in there thinking well she can't get out of here and I came back down here started working on the house some more and then I noticed moving out of my eye, the corner of my eye, maybe 20 minutes later, I look over and there's Houdina again. I called her Houdina because of the great escape artist Houdini. Houdina being the female version of the name. So Houdina just follows me around as you just saw. And so I'm just kind of wondering, I mean, you know, they say we don't pick our pets, our pets pick us. Houdina obviously picked me. And uh, I'm concerned because as you know, if you follow our channel, Cleopatra, my cat, picked me and Cleopatra is jealous of Houdina and so I'm wondering is Houdina's life in danger here she comes come on girl come on Houdina you want to come back in here with me come on come on girl here I'll move that out of your way you want to go over there and see what's over there come on so all the other chickens have uh, run off over there to that other place because they're scared but Houdina just comes around What's up, Houdina? Yeah, these chickens are going through a molt. That's why their feathers are all messed up. But Houdina, I'm just cleaning this mess out for you here, okay? Now we gotta get some clean hay. You know, this is interesting. Three and a half million people watched the video about the annoying neighbor and the crayon and how he expected free hay and all this stuff. Some guy left a comment yesterday. This is the first time I've seen this comment out of three and a half million viewers. He simply said, why don't your neighbors give you free hay? And I was like, wow, yeah, I know, right? And I don't expect anything for free, as you know. But uh, I thought, wow, three and a half million people. And finally, this one guy says, well, wow, everybody hates you because, well, and not everybody hates me. One guy hates me because 
I don't give him free hay anymore of it. It's like, well, why, well, and I guess a lot of trolls who think I should give this guy free hay think I'm a bad guy. But uh, how come nobody's giving me free hay? Because we're going to need hay now for our chicken house. But that's okay because we have way. We, we have hay. I actually cut mine with the Skype. So, honey, I think I got the end of it. It's time for us to get some hay that's not free because I paid for it with my physical efforts and labor. All right, there goes Miss Dearly with some new hay. Look at that. They're already trying to sit in their new hay. They love their new clean, dry. Yes, guys, I actually cut this, and it's so easy. It's not as hard as you think. I mean, we've got six acres. We got about three of it. Well, two and a half. They were reforesting. I go to the far side, way over there with my scythe, and I just swing that scythe for 10 or 15 minutes in the early mornings. You guys know I wake up at like 4 when it's lighting up to see. I'll go out there and spend 15 minutes or so, get a good little workout out of it, let it sit out there for a few days, and then I collect it and put it in here. But anyway, let's go see what my beautiful bride's doing. All the work, it sounds like. Are you running them back out, honey? No. Putting some hay down there underneath that nasty free pallet we got at some place that gives free pallets. Look at those guys. You got Houdina cornered back there? Yeah, you can bring the two box now. You want me to bring the two, the two box? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hey there, chickens. Hey there, chickens. What's up? What's up? Roger, what are you getting all? <clears throat> I don't like... want you to talk to, her, to his ladies. Well, hey there, Houdina. Here's Houdina. Hello, girl. Okay. Hello. I need more hay. You're not honey. scared of me, are you? You're scared of her, though, huh? You need more hay? Yes, please. Watch out, chicken. Okay. Here's their egg laying boxes. These were hard to build. No? Yep. <laughs> they work. They've been laying in them. Houdina sleeps in one. She's so different. Yeah, yeah All she's of our... so different. She's unique, isn't she? All of our yeah. chickens roost up here, but Houdina every night sleeps down here by herself. She's just the... Well, I'd say she's the black she chicken of the, the rules. She doesn't follow the rules, so she's the one that has all the fun, huh? Yep. If you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. Is that why we don't obey the rules? Yeah. So yeah. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, honey, hey. You want more hay? Yes, please. I can't hear you with that thing on your face. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Houdina. Well, hon, we're almost done. Because we work together and we both did an equal amount of work, huh? Yep. What do you think, Houdina? Is that true? Or am I embellishing you? They can't wait to get in there and get on that new hay. Yeah. We use grass clippings too, guys, as far as that cutting our own hay thing goes. It's been such a rainy year that most times when it's dried out enough for me to mow the grass, it's been practically hay. So we use the grass clippings for garden mulching, garden fertilizing. We also use it for the hen house, see? But honey, you did a great job. But this is the most beautiful chicken house you ever built. Say that again. Take your mask off. <laughs> Say that again so everybody can hear it. This is the most chicken house. Oh, <laughs> this is the mo oh, this is the most beautiful chicken house you ever built. You said that perfectly, honey. <laughs> Cause it's true. We've been together for so long. Yes. But this is the first time, like super perfect uh -huh. and great. Yeah. And many of you are probably wondering how hideous some of those other chicken houses must have been. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, because you know. You saw them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time I tried to build one and your dad came and took it apart and rebuilt it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After that, uh -huh. he told me, Dilly, Dilly, did you, did you see Kevin build his chicken house? Said, no, not yet. And then he's like, oh, my God. Oh my god, it's so terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> yep. He took the whole thing apart and rebuilt it, huh? Yep. Well, by golly, but I built it. And this oh, one, no. we've hidden it under that black sheep or underneath that black sheep because it's so beautiful. We do not want to blind you with the beautiness of the, the chicken house. Yep. That's not true. The truth is, Hurricane Florence was coming through, and there's shoot, we just left it there because it keeps raining. So, we done, honey? Yeah, we're done. Okay. So, we hope. Use gloves. E. E. <laughs> um, we hope you enjoyed us cleaning out our chicken house. <clears throat> Should we say anything else? No, nothing. Tell them to subscribe to our channel. Um, please subscribe to our homesteading of the grid channel if you haven't subscribed yet 
And thank you so much. Bye bye. Smile. Make sure you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you should smile too. You, you're okay, so cute. Okay, let's smile both of us.